friends, welcome to our show. So today it is a water fourth episode in the activity series. So in the last episode of the activity series, we start here in a series of so my computer drawings which I made in Paint. It is a pretty long name, so and also we don't have that much time, so let's start. So this is where we left off in the last week. So now let's continue. So these are non-ball country balls. So normally country balls are you know balls, but some countries are some country balls are not balls. So let's start with this. So first here is Chile because if you don't know the the shape of the actual Chile in geography is like it is more like a Chile and not like this. It is like a stick. Yes. So while Nepal is because of its flag it is like this and I don't even know why its flag is like this instead of you know any other type any other country so next is the Kazakh brick I forgot to put a A there yes so it is Kazakhstan but in the edition of a brick I don't know why it is here also in a brick shape instead of any other shape so next is Israel I also again don't know why Israel is in a shape of a cube. So next is Singapore or Singapore but you know it's a triangle and I also don't know why it is. Next is Bermuda but this one I know why it is a triangle because the Bermuda triangle. Next, T S Allied occupied Germany after World War II. You know, it was Allied occupied. So last episode in the history series, and we discussed about the Allied Germ- occupied Germany only. Yes. So next is the Mamluk Sultanate. Its flag looks like this. So yeah, and also it has no teeth. That's why it looks like an old person with no teeth. Next is the Maratha Empire with very short teeth, and you know. Next is Omsk. I don't. Omsk is normally a city in Russia, but I don't know why it is shown as a board and mm, pretty. Uh, and hmm, something is suspicious. So next is the Asian coin. You know, it's a coin. And next is the rich triangle or Germany. Yes. So next is the opposite day where everything is, you know, opposite. Even the right, even the title is opposite here. O P P O S I T G D A Y day. So first up here, normally Italians cook pizza, but here Pizzarians are cooking Italy. That is a very much universe card and ouch, the Italians are going to go into the fire and it looks a very hot. Mm. Next, uh, Ukraine is now very large, larger than you know Russia and Russia is getting scared of this country now, Ukraine. So next is Swiss who how gun and a sword this is because normally since 1815 it there's like a law that not exactly law but something that says that switzerland shouldn't go with go or declare war with any other country since 1815 it had declared country war with no other country so but on opposite there it wants violence so next in arizona normally Oh, I had a story where a person shot an a cactus and he was went to jail. So now a cactus is shooting an Arizona ball and okay. So next year we finally have the divided kingdom. Northern Ireland is Northern Ireland is not that much happy. England is why is like why did this happen wales is like the happiest thing in the whole world and scotland needs to finally join the eu and finally normally the canadians are polite but you see 
Hmm, not sorry. Uh, next. It's a part of the candidate of us. So it is some history thing. Next is another comic. So first this is like a reference to the Chernobyl uh, explosion in like in the 19th in the 20th century. So first there are three main characters. A radioactive uh, Ukrainian born which was at that time in the Soviet Union with the Soviet flag of the Ukraine. Next is you know the Soviet Union itself and finally Poland. So first there is the Ukrainian. Next is Russia. They said this is the super soldier. So the super soldier is this guy over here. He's holding a shotgun. So then Poland asks, what does he do? So first then he has three eyes for extra vision and a big brain for intelligence. So here he has three eyes. You can see. And then Poland says, wow. So then you know this guy says I hate you while stuttering like no anything so then well and this so then Russia uh, or the Soviet Union says he said it is a good life and then finally the, the, the Ukrainian falls down and you know he's dead while Soviet says to Poland He's just tired and sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's a revolver. Next, are the Roman countries. All of the Roman, most of the countries which had some, at least some land inside Rome. Or the Roman Empire. Yes, many countries here are happy. Except the only country that is, the only two countries that are not happy is Palestine, which is trapped inside Israel forever and another country is Cyprus which is split between northern and southern Cyprus yes so, but they both are in they're both in chaos yes. so next another comic so one day Russia invites Ukraine to its zoo where Latvia acts like a, a god so Russia says welcome to Russia zoo so then Russia introduces a new animal called Sakha. So these animals are the provinces of Russia. So the Sakha is saying Sakha, Sakha. And while Ukraine says, wow. So then Russia says, oh, Karelia escaped. So this ball, the Karelia ball escaped from its, you know, habitat. Then it orders the Belarus god to attack and hmm it had seen better days and finally Russia says sorry but we are near the end already Ukraine is sad so then Ukraine says but they, so they went in Tokyo so Ukraine says but where are the animals and finally Russia replies you is the animal and now that is so pretty sad great while again Russia invites this guy Georgia <laughs> it is a new repeating cycle so next another comic this comic is known as shoe polish so one day Germany is wants to go out and but its shoe is you know very dirty so it says my shoe is dusty but I don't have a bottle of shoe polish so then it goes to the store where there are many essentials for like water and never sponges 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 <laughs> so then here a polish ball says i am shoe polish and fine in germany says yes shoe polish and later at germany's house then germany's rubbing in Poland against this against its shoe and you know Poland has seen better days in its life yes so next to the Slavic countries most of the countries which are Slavic next is this was one of the first times I made on this computer next is all of South America it is not technically an order as you see so here is the large country of Brazil Argentina you know the sun is there 
Next here is Chile, the long boy. Next here is Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador. You can't see the symbol, but it is Ecuador. Next is Guyana. It is not that big, but I don't know why I did that. So next is Uruguay, pa and Bolivia, which actually has a symbol. Next to Paraguay, Suriname, and France Guyana, which is actually part of France. So next are the ten countries or the countries which have, you know, the suffix span. Next is Sotaco and the I Master, and like an alternate history thing, the Second American Civil War. Yes. So here is a uh, the main and blue are the Americans and hundred dot the anti-corruption league i don't know why i even put this thing here i don't know what even happened so the capital is austin which is here texas in the river city capital is washington dc and the anti-corruption league one i heard that the second new americans makes come war from 2076 december 12 to 2018 may 31st i don't know why i even did that so the war started because mexico wanted texas never the, i don't know why even has this very bad conspiracy so now i'm not another greater drawing so this is the second caucasian war so caucasian war happened like many hundreds of years ago so this is another alternate history in the future so first on 19th 8th 2023 the situation in nagarna karabakh here turned more intense as some Azerbaijani nationalists massacred an Armenian ethnic village in Nagorno-Karabakh. This finally started the Second Caucasian War on 22nd February 2024. Georgia also joined to occupy more land as Abkhazian South Ossetia got independence, which they are in real life they are rebels like this. So I don't know for a good way to join Georgia, so I found this. So after the war, Nagorno-Karabakh got independence from Azerbaijan. Georgia got a lot of land, Armenia also got a lot of land, and Azerbaijan lost most of its land. So the start of its war was 2nd February 2024, the end of war was 31st this date is October 2007. The deaths were 41,000 people, which is very less a month. And the winners were uh, no winner because it ended in a stalemate. So here is Azerbaijan, which which is very much ripped off its belongings. So next is Georgia, which got a lot of land here, but South Ossetia and this thing got independence. Abkhazia. So next Armenia took this part of Azerbaijan and as well as Nagorno Karabakh got independence. So next is the second Chinese civil war. So this is another end another war. So first here is the Chinese People's Party. The, the CSS. I mean, while down here in the blue is the Taiwanese Democratic Party of China or the TDPC. The capital is New Beijing, Taipei, and supporters are Japan and South Korea, while supporters were the communists are Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. The winner was the TDPC. The starting date from, was from 21st February to the 2004, 2104 to 19th March, I mean, I think April 2113. So the image they, that means the time in which the image was taken was at 19th 6th, 19th June, I think, in the year 2108. So the it was a part of the Great East Asian Communist Wars and their successors. So next is the Second Korean War. Yes. So here is South Korea, Japan and TDPC for the Democratic and North Korea, these guys for the communist. So winners are South Korea and the okay, so you know. So next is the third Greco Turkish war. So first let's introduce you to the Kingdom of Kiris. So on twenty second December twenty thirty, 
Greece turned into a monarchy. This caused even more tensions between Turkey or Turkey and Greece, as the new king Constantine the Third wanted to take the Bosphorus and annex all of Cyprus. The Bosphorus Strait in here, and as well as Cyprus, which he got. This led to a war between Greeks, Greece allied to Georgia and Turkey allied to Bulgaria, which was a bit weak as it went to famine as a heat wave approached. So Bulgaria went to famine. So you know, the war was the third Greco-Turkish war from 29th February 2032, with a glorious victory quickly with Turkey and Bulgaria losing land and Cyprus being completely annexed by Greece. With this victory, Greek turned into the most powerful Balkan state as it had the economic powerhouse that is Istanbul. Istanbul's name was changed to Constantinople, but people can also call it Istanbul or Byzantium. The deaths in the war were 23,000 people. The winner was Greece. The start of the war was on 29th February 2032, and the end of the war was 31st January 2034. Yes. So, the Greece got all of this land part of here, part of here, all of, you know, Istanbul and all of Cyprus. So next is, this is a pretty bad drawing. So this is a big slot drawing of like a meteor. So next here are the Canadian country boys. I don't remember all of their names, but let's give it a shot. So here is Yukon territory, the Northwestern territory. Next here we have um, British Columbia. Then here we have Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Nunavut, Nunavut, next Ontario, Quebec, um, what's this? I think this is Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and what I don't know what this is, and finally Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, and finally, for today, I'm going to show this. The CSTO, which is the Collective Security Treaty Organization. So, like the NATO, it is there. It, so, like the counter for NATO, there is the CSTO. So, the Russia is the main head with the Kaliningrad Oblast, which is a part of Russia, which is like you know outside of the main Russian country. So, next here is Belarus as well as Armenia. Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, and Kyrgyzstan. So these countries are in the CSTO. So this is for today about showing my drawings part four or the fourth episode. Bye.